how to match your clothes like a sexy beast. If you're talking about dressing well, it only boils down to matching your colors. You match your color of your t-shirt with your pant well enough and you'll stand out when you enter a room. But there's a few rules that apply to matching your outfit. So in today's video, I'm going to go over all the rules when it comes to matching your tops, that's your t-shirts, shirts, polos, with your pants, that's your jeans, chinos and shorts. And of course, we're going to talk a little bit about shoes and accessories as well. But the most important aspect of today's video is that I'm keeping everyone's budget in mind. I'm assuming that different bros have a different amount of money to spend on their clothes. And that's why we're going to start with talking about the low budget options first. So before we get to color coordination, let's just talk about the golden rule of men's dressing. If you want to pick out one pair of clothing that you need to own as a guy, it's a pair of dark blue denim jeans. Why? Because they're the most versatile piece of clothing. You invest in a good pair, it'll last you easily about four or five years till the color starts fading, at which point you can get another pair of jeans. I suggest you invest at least 2,000 rupees in a pair of good denim jeans because that 2,000 rupees will save up a lot of money in other places. What do I mean by that? Basically, dark blue denim jeans go with every single top. Whatever color it is, it always matches with dark blue denim jeans. That's rule number zero of men's dressing. But rule number one when we're talking about color coordination are the two universal colors. We're talking about white and we're talking about black. Two of the most versatile colors in the world. Why do I say that? Because a black and white top matches with virtually any pant and a black pant matches with virtually any top. What about white pants? White pants do match with any top, but keep in mind they're a little hard to pull off. It's not for everybody. A safe choice is always a black pant. The only don'ts when it comes to black or white tops is that you don't pair a black top with a black bottom and a white top with a white bottom. You don't want to end up looking like some kind of ninja. Now moving on to the next level of budget, the medium budget. So your basic low budget clothing are black and white. If your budget is minimal, go for a black top and a white top. But if you've got more money to spend, there are two colors you need to invest in. Navy blue and grey. And when it comes to navy blue and grey, once again, we're talking about variations. Now for those of you who don't know what navy blue is, it's basically dark blue, something like this. So dark blue once again goes with everything including denims. But there's a catch. We're talking about shades here. Now the catch with these two colors is that we need to go into the science of shades. What do I mean? I'll try explaining it using grey. So we've got dark grey here and we've got light grey here. This is called more saturated grey, this is called less saturated grey. Once again, grey is a sort of universal colour, but the rules you need to follow are that you can't wear a dark shade with another dark shade. Basically, you can't wear a dark shade on top and a dark shade on the bottom and you can't wear a light shade on top and a light shade on the bottom. If you want to wear a dark shade on the top, you've got to wear a light shade of pants and if you want to wear a light shade of tops, you've got to wear a dark shade of pants. You basically want to create a a little bit of contrast in the vision of the person who's viewing you. That's called dressing 101. Moving on to the third level of budget, medium high. The only color I've included in this group is the badass brown. Why do I say that? Because brown paired with denim jeans, once again, or black just looks very, very stylish. It's one of those style hacks. So if you want to invest in one more color, go for something like a brown top. Of course, this rule also applies to brown bottoms. I've got khaki shorts here and dark brown chinos. Now, obviously, I can't pair it with this brown t-shirt because once again, I look like a brown ninja. That's not what you want to go for. Also, don't even think that because this is a light shade of brown, you can pair it with a dark shade of brown. You look like you're coming out of a safari or something. The rule with brown dressing is that you want to pair it with black, like this, a smart black polo with these brown shorts, or in my case, how I've worn these jeans. You can also pair these brown bottoms with some kinds of coloured clothing. Once again, those saturation and contrast rules apply. But what you need to remember is that coloured clothing has its own game. Now, what do I mean by coloured clothing? All these are colours, but those are the basic budget colours. If your budget allows you to spend on more colours, you definitely should. Why? Because a truly stylish man can pull off colour perfectly well. But you need to know the rules. There's a lot of rules with wearing bright colours because they make a statement and you don't want to make a wrong statement like this. Why is this t-shirt wrong? It's wrong for multiple reasons. Firstly, it's a v-neck. You need to remember that bright colours already make a statement. Your 
You're making a second statement with a deep V-neck. Thirdly, it's super tight. This is a mistake that a lot of gym bros make when it comes to clothes like this. They think, oh, I want to show my muscles, I want to show my muscles, but they also wear super bright colors. And in the process, it just looks too loud overall. Tight and bright is a style mistake. Instead, if you want to wear bright colors, wear something a little bit more sober, something that's not skin tight. Remember, bright colors magnify your physique. If you go to the gym, bright colors will make you look better, but make sure you're not wearing skin tight clothes. But moving on to the next rule when it comes to wearing bright colors. And finally, when we're talking about bright t-shirts, we have to talk about color combinations in the t-shirt. A lot of bros make this mistake of wearing multiple colors in the same t-shirt. At the most, there should be two colors. Like in this case, the base color is blue and then there's green trim just to make the blue pop out a little bit more. Remember, the second color is just meant to make the other color pop out. But a third color is just too much. So if you own a lot of those t-shirts or shirts that have patterns and dragons and tigers, on the t-shirt, think twice about wearing it. Even when it comes to graphic designs, the third color should be only inside the graphic. If it's all over the t-shirt, you might want to reconsider wearing that t-shirt. Remember, try keeping it as simple as possible. If possible, two colors. And if possible, only one color. Two colors are great for a polo like this, but for a simple t-shirt, one color works beautifully fine. And finally, let's get to talking about pants and all the colors of your pants. Your basics are a pair of blue denim jeans, and a pair of black chinos. This is very versatile, just like a pair of blue denim jeans, goes with everything. But if you want to be a little more adventurous, go in for shades of grey. Dark grey, light grey. Personally, if you had to pick between the two, I'd pick this because it makes your wardrobe even more versatile. This paired with a bright saturated outfit is a perfect option for day wear. And finally, let's get to talking about tan and brown. Just how we spoke about earlier, it's in different shades and paired with the correct shirt, it'll just look super badass. Now, these are the sober colors. So if you don't have any chinos at home and you want to invest in chinos, first go for all these colors. It makes your wardrobe incredibly versatile. But if you want to take it that extra mile, you can go for slightly more adventurous colors. In this case, burgundy as I've worn here and military green. Looks almost black, but it's not black. You know, the thing with guys is that we don't know too many colors, but girls can spot all these colors. And if you want to be the best dressed guy in the room, it's all about making that slight style statement, but still keeping it classy. The thing with colored chinos is that a lot of guys make the style mistake of going for very saturated colors in their chinos. You know, bright reds, bright yellows, bright greens. It draws too much attention to your pants. When it comes to the color of your pants, the only purpose of that color is to complement the color of what you're wearing on top. That's why even if you're going adventurous with your pant colors, still keep it dark and classy to draw the attention to the top wear. And finally, at the end of the video, it's time to talk about shoes and accessories. And if we're talking from a budget point of view and a versatility point of view, there's only two colors you need to go for, brown and black. We can't get more versatile than these two colors. So if your budget is minimal and you want to invest in good shoes, buy a pair of flat black shoes and flat brown shoes, kind of like this. You can pair these with virtually anything in your wardrobe. Black or brown goes with absolutely any color. Make sure you pair black shoes with a black belt and brown shoes with a brown belt. You don't have to match the shade of brown for those of you wondering. Either way, guys, that was the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember, it's just one like for you, but each of your likes helps build our channel as YouTube creators. So if you have any more suggestions for how I should go about fashion content or any video suggestions, make sure you drop them in the comment section. And until next time, guys, if you want to follow my own journey, make sure you follow me on Instagram at beerbiceps. Ranveer will see you later.